Hello there, welcome to Disney Parks Addict. Today, we'll be taking a look at all the restaurants and dining locations in Disney's Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Stick around until the end of the video where I will share my top picks for the park, including best snacks, drinks, and of course, counter service and table service restaurants, as well as more about today's sponsor, Factor. Once you enter the park and work your way through the oasis, you'll come to Discovery Island, which has plenty of dining options available. Let's start with Eight Spoon Cafe, a great booth selling baked macaroni and cheese for a simple on-the-go lunch, as well as the classic Mickey pretzel and other snacks and cold beverages. For those looking for something a little bit more adventurous, then you can try the pulled pork jelly donut. Another booth in Discovery Island is the Smiling Crocodile that serves some amazing street tacos and nachos, along with a nice selection of drinks. If you're short on time, these booths are a great place for a quick meal or snack and are quite affordable. Next to the Smiling Crocodile is the Flame Tree Barbecue, our first quick service restaurant in this guide. They serve awesome American barbecue delights. Choose from the chicken, ribs, pulled pork, or a combination of the three alongside their signature beans and coleslaw. They also offer plant-based and gluten and wheat allergy friendly offerings, as well as salads and a nice selection of wines, beers and cocktails. There is limited seating around the back so I would suggest avoiding this at peak times. If you're looking for a pick-me-up, then head to the Isle of Java, a booth selling Joffrey's coffees, delicious pastries, and breakfast biscuits served throughout the day. If you want something with more of a kick, they also offer some coffee-based cocktails. Next is the amazingly bright and colorful Pizza Safari, which is a quick service restaurant that sells personal pizzas, as well as sandwiches, breadsticks, and salads. There is plenty of space in the five themed dining rooms with beautiful murals and mosaics of different animals from around the world. Near to the entrance of Africa, you will come to Creature Comforts, which is the park's Starbucks location, so expect to find all your usual Starbucks offerings, as well as some exclusive Disney-inspired pastries and merchandise in this uniquely designed African-themed location. Opposite is Terra Treats, a booth offering pizza slices, snacks and drinks. It is also home to the Loggerhead, a nice, refreshing, non-alcoholic apple-flavored cooler. We now head clockwise around the park towards Pandora the World of Avatar, but there are still two remaining dining locations in Discovery Island. First up is the excellent table service restaurant Tiffin's. You can discover a world of flavor with their global range of amazing dishes and beverages. The decor pays homage to all the countries that inspired the creation of the Animal Kingdom Park. The menu has a wide selection of African and Asian dishes, including curries, whole fried sustainable fish, and short rib. With a great choice of appetizers and desserts, this is one of the best fine dining restaurants on property. Next door is the Nomad Lounge, which serves some small plates and a wide selection of cocktails, beers, and wines. As the name suggests, this lounge celebrates traveling the world and the thrill of discovery. It offers amazing indoor and outdoor seating that gives you some beautiful views of the park. I just want to talk a little bit about the sponsor of today's video, Factor. Get fresh, ready-made meals delivered to your doorstep when you sign up with Factor. Their chef-created meals are fresh, never frozen, and designed by dietitians to ensure every meal is packed with premium, science-backed nutritional quality. No more meal prep, no more dishes, no more unhealthy fast food. Factor offers the most convenient way to eat well while eating right. Their menus are updated weekly and include over 27 meals and over 34 add-on options. Use my link in the description box below or go to go.factor75.com and use my code FACTORSE35514 for 50% off your first box. We now move on to Pandora the World of Avatar. You can dine in the Satuli Canteen, the counter service restaurant which is among many guests' favorite restaurants in all of Walt Disney World. They offer bowls of chicken, beef or shrimp with a choice of noodles, rice, salad or potatoes and a selection of sauces. They are all delicious and offer a healthier alternative to other restaurants in the park. If the bowls aren't your thing, you can try the amazing cheeseburger steam pods or bao buns. They are simply out of this world. They also offer a nice selection of alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks as well as some tasty desserts. 
The other location in Pandora is Pongu Pongu, a booth near the exit of Flights of Passage, which serves grab-and-go breakfast snacks, pretzels, and some amazing original drinks. Check out the Fruity Night Blossom, which is a mixture of apple and pear limeade filled with passion fruit boba balls. Now we move on to Africa, which is home to a great selection of unique dining locations. At the entrance of the land, you can find Mahindi, a popcorn cart offering cute souvenir buckets with a selection of delicious popcorn or cinnamon glazed pecans or almonds, along with some cool and refreshing drinks. Next up is the Harambe Market, a counter service location offering African inspired barbecue and salads. I love the theme of this restaurant as it has been designed to look like it's set around an old colonial era train depot. This is another great place to get some healthier offerings with some delicious flavours. Although it isn't listed as a restaurant, I can't make a dining guide about Animal Kingdom without mentioning Zuri Sweet Shop. It offers lots of snack items including caramel apples, cookies, brownies and a huge selection of candy. Next is the delightful Tamu Tamu Refreshments. Located in the heart of Harambe Village, serving the famous Dole Whips, desserts and beers. In the mornings, you can also grab some breakfast items like biscuits and cinnamon rolls. Next up is the amazing character dining experience at the Tusca House restaurant. Join Safari, Donald Duck and friends as you enjoy a delicious African inspired buffet for breakfast, lunch or dinner. The breakfast buffet is amazing but I would suggest coming for lunch or dinner so you can try all the different curries, fish and barbecue dishes as well as lots of awesome side dishes. With amazing theming, delicious food and a chance to meet your favourite characters, this is one of the best dining options in all of Walt Disney World. On the side of Tusker House is the Dawa Bar, where you can find some African inspired cocktails, beers and wines. This is a great place to get a drink before or after a reservation at the Tusker House restaurant. Next up is the Kusafiri Coffee Shop and Bakery, which is perfect for an on-the-go breakfast with their biscuits and pastries. Or during the day, you can grab one of their delicious flatbreads or homemade chips. They also offer a selection of Joffrey's coffees and other beverages throughout the day. The final dining location in Africa is the Harambe Fruit Market, which offers a wide variety of quick and simple snacks and drinks. Drinks. You can grab a hot dog, a Mickey pretzel or churro, some fresh fruit or the popular grilled corn on the cob with amazing African spices. If you're enjoying the guide so far, please click the like button as it will help us to share it to new viewers. We now move round to Asia, one of my favourite areas of the park, especially for the food. First up is Caravan Road, a booth serving refreshing shaved ice fruity drinks which are perfect in the hot Florida sun. You can also add a shot of snow leopard vodka to transform them into icy cocktails. A little further down the road is the Warung Outpost, serving frozen margaritas, beers, wines and assorted chips. Next is Mr. Kamal's, a booth selling vegetarian food and drinks. This is also where you can grab the popular Mr. Kamal seasoned fries, which also comes with a selection of delicious dipping sauces. This location is open seasonally, so make sure you check the My Disney Experience app before your visit. Next is the Yak and Yeti, which is comprised of a table service restaurant and two outdoor counter service locations. Let's start indoors with the Yak and Yeti restaurant. Sticking with the Nepalese aesthetic surrounding the area, this beautiful two-story restaurant offers pan-Asian cuisine, so expect plenty of curries, stir-fries, noodles and other delicious appetizers and entrees. Outside is the Yak and Yeti Local Food Cafe, offering a similar choices of dishes, albeit on a much smaller scale, which also includes burgers and fried chicken. They also offer a limited breakfast menu, serving breakfast bowls and muffins. The other outdoor service point is the Yak and Yeti Quality Beverages, which is a small hatch around the side of the building, serving refreshing drinks, cocktails, draft beers, and even a few grab-and-go food items too. Another option for drinks and snacks is opposite the Yak and Yeti at Drink Walla, a booth specializing in frozen drinks. Cool down on a hot day with a refreshing cup of frozen Coca-Cola. And if you want it with a kick, you can also add some whiskey or spiced rum. This is another spot where you can grab the cinnamon glazed almonds and pecans, as well as a uniquely dipped Mickey Premium Bar. 
Close to the entrance of Expedition Everest is the Thirsty River Bar, with a huge selection of cocktails, beers and wines from their fully stocked bar. And if you're looking for snacks, then check out Trek Snacks next door, that has a great choice of popcorn, ice creams, pretzels and more. The final dining location in Asia is the wonderfully themed Anandapur ice cream truck. Here is where you can find soft serve waffle cones, coke floats and the special Yeti sundae along with the usual beverages and beers. We now move on to the final area in the park, Dinoland USA, starting with a perfectly named Restaurantosaurus which serves burgers, hot dogs, nuggets and salads in an awesomely themed dining area. Also another great thing about this restaurant is that all kids meals comes with a free National Geographic book about dinosaurs, which is a great souvenir for the younger guests. Next to the restaurant is Dino Bite Snacks, a booth which offers sundaes, waffle cone ice creams, cookie sandwiches and floats all using Hagen Dazs ice cream, as well as some other snacks and drinks. The final dining location in Dinoland USA is Trilo Bites, a booth offering sundaes, floats and cocktails and their specialty buffalo chicken chips, which is a great snack to share or a nice small lunch on the go. We end this dining guide with a restaurant at the entrance of the park, the Rainforest Cafe. This is a great place to take younger guests as you'll be dining inside a real rainforest, alongside the sights and sounds of all your favourite jungle animals. The Rainforest Cafe is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner, so I would suggest either grabbing a delicious hearty breakfast before entering the park, or making a late dinner reservation to wrap up your day at the amazing Animal Kingdom Park. The menu is standard American fare, with burgers burgers and steaks, as well as some pasta and seafood dishes, and of course some delicious desserts. So our top snacks for the park include the grilled corn on the cob from the Harambe Fruit Market, the seasoned fries from Mr. Kamal's, and the dipped Mickey Premium Bar from Drinkwalla. For drinks, we have chosen the Night Blossom from Pongu Pongu and the Mango Passion Fruit Shaved Ice from Caravan Road. The best counter service restaurant is definitely the Satuli Canteen, but the two Yak and Yeti quick service locations offer some great choices. For table service, we have chosen the character dining experience at Tusker House Restaurant, but if you want fine dining, then head to Tiffin's. So there you have it, my complete guide for all the dining locations within Disney's Animal Kingdom. If you want to know more about the attractions at Animal Kingdom, then check out this video here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Disney Parks Addict.